Hey everyone, welcome to lesson two, angle pairs and equations. We are going to look at diagrams, set up equations, and solve for a variable x. So the first thing you want you to do and get in the habit is look at the picture and know what kind of angle pair will work. So we can set up equations based on the angle pair. This is a linear pair. We know linear pairs are supplementary. We're going to add those two angles to equal 180 degrees. Combine your like terms and then subtract 129 from both sides so that you can solve for x, get it alone. So we know that x is 51 and that's what we're asked to do. So let's look at this picture here. Why don't you pause the video and see what kind of uh, steps you would do. Um, I hope that you saw that there is a triangle. So this is a triangle and what we know is triangles add up to 180, but what are these angle measures here. So let's do some work here. Um, remember, here's the steps that we're going to do. We're going to name the angle pair, write an equation, and then solve for x. So let's start with um, this triangle, and let's put in our two angles. I'll put a y here and a z here. So now we have three angles in our triangle. What are y and what are z? So looking at the y, let's start there. Linear pairs are supplementary. You see that the y and 140 make a linear pair. So they mean that means y plus 140 is 180. I subtract 140 from both sides of the equation. y equals 40. Now for the z, that's a vertical angle set right here. So vertical angles we know are congruent. If vertical angles are congruent, I'm going to say that z is the same as negative 5 plus 15x. All right, now let's put it together using the triangle sum theorem, meaning I add all three angles of the triangle together to get 180. Make the substitutions for what the angles are. Combine your like terms. Then I'm going to subtract 44 from both sides and then divide by 17. Once I divide by 17, I get my final answer, I'm going to move my picture here, of 8. So 136 divided by 17 is 8. This one, why don't you pause the video and see if you can do this. You're going to sketch a linear pair, so know what a linear pair looks like. Make that sketch where one angle measures 8x and the other is 6x plus 110. Find x and the measures of both angles. So here's the picture of a linear pair. I put 8x and 6x plus 110. Because we know it's a linear pair, we know they're supplementary. So let's add the two angles together to equal 180. Set up your equation, combine like terms. We have 14x plus 110 equals 180. Subtract 110 from both sides of your equation, and you are going to get 14x is 70 divided by 14 and we get the answer of x equals 5. Sweet. Now it says find x. Are we done? And hopefully you had said nope because I'm seeing that we have to do one more thing. It says find the measures of all the angles or both angles. So let's make the substitution. We know that x now is 5 so 8 times 5 is 40 degrees. Got one of the angles. So the other one, we should already know. Oh, that's a linear pair. So 140 more degrees. You can do that, and that's fine. But I'm also going to do the substitution and show you that it indeed is 140. So just a recapping here of our special angle pairs. Vertical angles we know are congruent. And so if angles are congruent, you're going to set your angles equal to each other. So that's one, supplementary angles, they can be a linear pair. And this picture is showing a linear pair. The angles add up to 180. So that means you're going to make an equation where you add the two angles together to equal 180. Complementary angles um, add to 90. And so if you have a, a red box here is showing that a 90 degrees, so they are complementary. That means we would add the two angles together to get a sum of 90 and we can solve for x by subtracting uh, 73 from both sides. And then finally, if you have a triangle, remember the triangle sum theorem that says we can add all three angles and have that equal to 180 degrees. So 
Hopefully you are ready to do your angle pairs now with the equations. Good luck and have fun.